Hello, my name is Eileen Ely. I'll be moderating the network virtualization panel on day one of the Telecom 2013 conference. This is a must attend session for service providers and others. The first thing you should know is that virtualization gives you flexibility. Second, it allows you to deliver more services. And third, virtualization will lower costs. That's it. Now we all know there's lots of marketing talk about things that solve your network challenges, but network virtualization is more tested than you may think. A similar evolutionary step has been underway for over five years in corporate networks where lessons have been learned and real benefits achieved. The opportunity is so large in public networks that in the past 18 months, we've seen true global cooperation to accelerate the deployment of virtual network functions. Network virtualization. I've heard the term tossed around many times, but what are they trying to say? In the past, networks have been built on specialized equipment. Now, virtualization allows these network functions to be built in software. This software can be loaded onto scalable commercial servers. This is inexpensive using off the shelf shared infrastructure. The bottom line is it's the least expensive way to deliver the best possible services. I, I can give you many examples, but here's one. A policy server is a network element that establishes business rules and provide, provides authorization for services. This server can be virtualized. Two key functions of this network element are managing quality of service and providing deep packet inspection. We all know these are high value functions for delivering services. This is one way you can see how virtualization can be used to achieve your business goals. Network virtualization enables top performance during peak periods through this shared infrastructure. It's about paying for resources as you use them, not building networks and hoping they will come. And oh, by the way, if you get the traffic you hope for, you'll be able to scale resources during peak periods to meet this demand. Here, by resources, I mean computing power, storage, and connectivity. It's about releasing resources during off-peak hours and adding resources during traffic spikes. It's about using world-class data centers, your own or someone else's. There is something for everyone in this panel discussion. For entrepreneurs and innovators, network virtualization holds the possibility of offering services without capital investment that has, been, has made telecommunications a game for only the richest players. For the developing world, there's the possibility of deploying enhanced functions at the same time as their rollout in global networks. Imagine 10 million subscribers, 10,000 cell sites all being supported from a scalable server farm. Please join me in exploring these areas with an amazing group of panelists from around the world. We have senior executives from Japan, Sweden, the UK, Germany, and the US, representing both operators and equipment manufacturers. Hear their expert opinions on the reality and the hype. Find out how the three benefits of flexibility, new services and lower costs are being realized. Put yourself in the position to drive how your network evolves. Remember, if you want to understand how to better manage network costs while speeding service delivery, come to this not to be missed session on Tuesday afternoon, day one of the conference. If you have any questions or comments you'd like to send in advance, you can reach me at the email on the screen. I look forward to seeing you there. Thanks.